Parker, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey! Hello everyone, Luke Rides. Luke Rides is back for you. And what we're going to be doing on this episode of the channel, uh, it's good that Luke Rides is doing a couple of workshop videos, that's pretty, pretty cool. And what you're about to see is how to fit the Pew uh, Superbike screen for the Kawasaki ZX-10R Exotica, that is Superbike. Um, the good news is it's actually quite a straightforward process. With the right tools, you will be able to remove the factory superbike screen and put that gorgeous Pew Racing screen on the ZX10 superbike in black, of course, because she is Kawasaki and she is superbike. Uh, so that's the right color. The the clear or smoked version just doesn't. It's just not super bike, but the pure, just the pure black pew is. It shows off the lines for that beautiful anniversary super bike colors from Kawasaki. <laughs> and uh, yeah, with the right tooling, you absolutely love this. Pretty straightforward. And Luke Kreitz hopes you enjoy this episode. Let's go and hit the intro. It's showtime. <laughs> Um, you're actually going to need um, on this one is you're actually going to need Torx bolts. You're going to need Torx bolts in order to remove the Torx. Um, you're going to need the Torx set in order to remove the Torx bolts. And it's actually a security thing here at Luke Christ. The reason why manufacturers do that is so that you don't just necessarily have a socket set and you can just remove very expensive or even exotic parts from a motorcycle that you have to use the proper tooling. Um, so it's kind of like an anti-theft sort of thing. It's like anti-stealing um, in a way. Um, but you are then... I'm going to need um, a ratchet, and what you're going to need is actually a 4mm, 4mm Torx. Luke Ryan says that again, 4mm uh, Torx to remove the Torx security bolts from the factory screen. So what you've got to be very careful here at Luke Cries, if you look actually very closely, these are the factory fixings. And then we've got the superbike mirrors as well. So we want to be careful that as we use the tooling, we're not scratching the superbike um, mirrors here. And we don't want to scratch the superbike mirrors there. Um, if you actually look really closely here at Luke Rides, is the, the Torx bolts. I've actually got a washer, a plastic washer, between the screen, the superbike screen, and the, the Torx bolts. And the washers are there to stop the Torx bolts from, from grinding and chewing into the plastic. So those washers, you definitely, Luke Cride says, do not lose these washers. You're goddamn right. If you lose these washers, have replacements. If you do not use the washers, the bolts from Star bolts will chew into your new Pew High Tech racing screen and it's going to damage the plastic. So those washers are very, very important. And the theory is, is because this is a, oh, this is a thick thing. The theory is, yeah, see that. Actually, Luke Rides just put minimal effort into that, and instantly the bolts began to undo. They're actually not very tight, and they're actually not very tight on purpose because they um, don't want to put too much press onto the factory screen, and that may damage it. So this is a job where you definitely just kind of take your time, take your time with a jobby jobby like this, jobby 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 jobby. Like so, and then you're just gonna. What you're gonna do is just work on 
loosening off the Torx bolts that are uh, keeping the Superbike screen in place from Kawasaki. So you're just gonna, oh, they're not very tight. You're just gonna loosen them off. Um, and at that point, because you've now loosened off the star, the star bolts, you can now use something like a hand tool instead and just whiz off the uh, Torx bolts. Now remember, keeping in mind those washers. Do not lose them. So, so far, pretty straightforward. Ah, it's quite interesting that Kawasaki, you see, have used quite long... Yeah, quite actually quite long... Um, Torx bolts here. They've used quite long ones. They actually go quite deep. Easiest thing you can do is pretty much take... Torx bolts and just pop them into the cardboard box that the Pew racing screen came in and that way you're not only keeping the bolts together you're keeping the washers together Julie Christ said you do not want to lose them or you're going to crush your Pew racing screen if you do happen to have spare clear washers then that's great. And if you happen to lose lose the original factory washers, clear washers, then just stop and order clear an assortment of clear washers. Well, that's just going pretty well. It's going to be quite interesting seeing the difference from the factory screen to the Pew High Tech, which actually, interestingly enough, there are not many sellers, there are not many um, suppliers that have the Pew Zen X10 Superbike High Tech screen in, because it's just one of those more uncommon, harder to come by assortment of parts. So far, this is also how you begin to remove the factory racing screen, factory racing screen from the ZX10 Superbike. This is again one of those times where you just take take your time with a job like this. Just take your time. Okay, so that's already fixing here on the Kawasaki Superbike. Bearing in mind, we don't know, we want to be wary that once we have actually loosened off and removed the last, the very last bolt, the screen is going to probably move. So what we're going to do is on the last final Torx bolt is instead we're actually going to um, use your one hand to grip the factory superbike screen and then use your other hand to finish off removing the final fixing, the final Torx. And you're doing that just to make sure this does not slide onto the bodywork. And by just looking at it, yes. Uh, in fact, it is actually kind of interesting how the Pew racing screen is the black just looks deeper. It just looks deeper. It looks more glossy. Especially around the mounting holes like here, here and here. The black just looks a lot more punchy. And especially around the edges, which is quite interesting. They're around the edges. The black is a lot more glossy, is a lot more reflection. A lot more reflection. Now down onto the 
last uh, two fixings. Uh, what Luke Christ has found really interesting is that when fitting the Puick um, high-tech superbike racing screen is that at first you felt like, no, it's like the holes don't, don't not the holes don't match up, but the like where the thick where the thread is on the ZX10 superbike, like the holes, the threads aren't quite matching up with the holes. And then what you go and got to do is pull, literally pull on the screen and stretch the plastic. And then if you stretch your plastic, all of a sudden you you, you get um, your holes start lining up, which is quite quite interesting. Quite interesting, isn't it? Very interesting indeed on the ZX10 Superbike. Really good so far. Nice. 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 Okay. Remember, all si- all six fixings must have the plastic washers. Or you are going to damage the plas- pew plastic. I'm just going to get nice and just start nipping up the, uh, the bolts now. Okay. Going to start n- again nipping up the bolts. Going to start nipping them up. What we're doing here is we're just tightening everything down, down, and you actually need um, Torx. These are Torx heads. Okay. So what you've got to be wary of is that now you're at the stage of locking down, um, tightening up the Puick um, ZX10 Superbike Racing screen. Is these fixings Kawasaki um, would say on this superbike would be about 8 new, eight meters, which is not very tight I mean it's literally hand tool tight and um, there's a reason for that because what can happen is if you tighten up the fixings too much you exert too much tightness is it stresses the plastic and there have been actually cases where the where plastic is actually fractured under pressure and you can do that just by over over tightening these fixings so really you're going to use your hand tool to get it to tighten up the bolts you're just going to get it about hand tight if you want to be technical at eight, about 80 newton meters but in real life you're just going to use the hand tool and you're just going to nip it up like, so you're not going to go any tighter than that. Make sure your tool's all the way in. It's just hand tight. Beautiful. 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 Okay, that is pretty good that's pretty good so you're just going to go over it one more time make sure you're happy it's hand tight make sure you're happy it's all hand tight make sure you're happy it's hand tight make sure you're happy the bottom's hand tight and then you're done and look at that that pew racing screen is fixed it's not going anywhere that, along with the crush washers, the clear coated washers, is spot on. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And really, really at this point, as long as you're happy, you are now going to take the time to take the manufacturing stickers from Pewee off the superbug screen. Would you look at that? That's already one down. They 
you get sick of the other one. Screen cleaning. Be known to use warm and natural soap. Do not use solvents or or substances biodegradable that could damage your plastic. Do not use thread locker or glue as it may cause cracks to the windscreen. Even pure um, pure high tech say not to use uh, thread, thread lock on the bolt or it will cause the screen to crack. Look at that. Thank you, Pewie. And then, if you really want to, look for any more additional stickers, such as here, on the screen. Assuming this is removable, which it probably will be. Ah, see that? It's quite interesting because that seems a bit more high tech. I think Luke Rhodes might need to find some better music. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Luke Rhodes hopes you enjoyed that, that episode here on the channel. Um, it does make quite a nice difference. You certainly do notice it on the ZX10 Superbike when she wants to race to 200 miles an hour. That you have that extra protection and a place as well to to hunker down your helmet when you're doing when when on the track. You are capable of doing such uh, absolute supersonic speeds like that. <laughs> And it does make a difference and it really shows off the curves as well. And it's got a beautiful design aesthetic by Pew. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Really nicely machined. Fantastic finish as well. And really well presented. Good packaging as well from Pew. And it looks phenomenal. It looks quality. And it looks very fitting for the ZX10R superbike um, in every way. So definitely, if you're going to have, if you're going to upgrade, which you should, if you when you make that move to upgrade to the full superbike racing screen, go Pew. It's the only brand Luke Rise is going to recommend for that particular part. It's the only brand that you should choose. Absolutely phenomenal. You know, forget the RNG cheapola crap go for the pew quality that is very fitting for superbike and that gorgeous black finish looks really strong as if it's going to last quite a long time and uh, that's great to see it's just a matter of removing those bolts don't forget the washers uh, the washers are really important the washers are there to stop the bolt from crushing the pew um, plastic and leaving a mark on there so those washers are there to to be as a cushion to stop the bolt from damaging the black finish and to stop the bolt from crushing into the plastic but also what the washer will do is distribute the torque evenly across the plastic so that will reduce that will help stop there ever being a chance on an episode where the plastic crack um, so that's good. And you imagine the stresses that a ZX10 Superbike is under and are capable of 200 miles now. You don't not want to damage the plastic now, do you? So, fantastic. Let's drink a lovely cup of coffee here at the Loki Ride. I like a Loki Ride. I like a Loki Ride. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just staying strong. Getting older now. And they quite to worry, he's getting older and older. It's a lot of life that Luke Wright is missing out on, you know. But he's trying to work hard just to, to help build our future. And it's always, you always got to stay strong and just keep fighting on, soldiering on, making sure you do all the good work out there. And keep trying to spread your reputation to help generate extra jobs or try to generate a job out there that will lead to, to work and building, building up your business. It's hard. It's hard work. Anyways, enough of the, uh, the sober, you know, 
adult talk that uh, they cried the same yeah well wow. here's a coffee to you ah let's drink a cup of coffee here at Luke Rides. oh fuck no give it Luke Rides a coffee you burn out go give it give it give it fuck ah. <laughs> why does that always happen to us advanced bikers let like, alone like normal bikers <laughs> oh for fuck's sake <laughs> anyways Thanks for watching. The way we... The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. We are sexy Pierre! <laughs> Right, it's not worn this visor in a while. This helmet in a while. Uh, helmet in a while? <laughs> yeah, I think like, that's how the Kreitz is at the moment. He hasn't been out on the ZX Sensor bike for a while now. Yeah. Catch you next episode of the channel. You know it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's punch it.